Hello and welcome to another episode of Trudy Bedrock with me. Oh, 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 yep, yeah, I clearly still haven't fixed this hole yet. Oh dear, that was silly of me. Right, let's quickly, uh, let's get out of there. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Right, take two. Hello and welcome to another episode of Trudy Bedrock with me, Mr. Beardstone. And as you can see, we're still hanging out in our colourful corridor that we created last episode, which I only wrapped up a very, very short time ago. And since then, all I've done is, is basically start cooking some cactus, which is, yeah. Well, that's about it, really. Oh, and, and some pickles. And some pickles. We cooked some pickles, too. And the plan for today is to carry on work in our bunker here. So what we're going to do is head off into this side room over here on the left. And, oh, yeah, look at that. It just fired again. Love that thing. So, yep. Oh, so many distractions in here. So, yes, this room. Right. What we're going to do is build ourselves a super smelter. So we have a smelter outside that's got, like, what, 16 furnaces? And we're going to build one in here that's going to have more than that. I don't know how many. I haven't designed this yet. And we're going to make it up as we go along. First things first, however, at the start of last episode, we made a lot of pickles for Liara and we never got a chance to deliver them. So we are going to go and deliver them now. And you may notice I've done up this cave a little bit as well. Looking much better. So I believe Liara is actually on her way over here to meet us. And I still have the boxes of pickles out the front here as well. So we're going to give all these to Liara. So there's, there's almost, almost six boxes. I may have used some of them for uh, stuff and things. But we've still got plenty there, so that's all good. I guess all we need to do now is wait for Liara to turn up. And, um, well, I guess we're also going to have to negotiate a price. We haven't actually discussed that for these. Hello, welcome. How are you doing? I am doing good. It's uh, good to actually be over here instead of just flying past. I have um, I have some pickles for you. Uh, uh, don't go in the water, by the way. There's a guard. Much that, appreciated. That there's at least one guardian in there, possibly more. Um, Do I want to know how that happened? I, and I, I kind of want to know how that happened, if I'm perfectly honest. But uh, I'm assuming it's something to do with the Guardian Farm spillage. But he's, you know, he's, he's become part of the furniture now, so um, it's fine. He lives in there. But I'm pretty sure there's a couple on the other side of the island as well. Yeah. He's protecting my borders from unruly foxes. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're happy with them, I'm sure a few more could be arranged. No, no, no. One's fine. One's fine. I'm just gonna quickly have a nap, and I'll be right down to sort out the pickles for you. Get out! Get out of my bedroom! Ah! Wow! Sorry, sorry. Wow! Jesus! It's like personal, personal space, Liara. Jeez! Jeez! I'm American. We don't know what that is. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Right. Uh, yes. Pickles. Pickles. Um, you asked for five shulkers. There's about five and a half there. May I ask why you needed so many pickles? Yeah, I'm uh, trying to trying to make the drown. Yeah, I want the drown to stop coming ashore at the the shopping district. Like, what's the point of it being? in a mushroom biome boat boat uh, we still get attacked by drown constantly. Ah, I see, I see. Cool. Well, um, yeah, lots, lots, lots of pickles. Yes. Uh, how much do I owe you? Well, I mean, if, 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 they're for, if they're for the shopping district, I couldn't possibly charge you. I'm, I'm, I'm fine paying, man. It's like, it is, it's, if you don't need, uh, yeah, if you, if, you, if you don't actually need the diamonds, I'm sure I can pay you with something else instead. Like, I got, I got Sparrow Lytra. Oh, um, oh, no, I, 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 I could definitely do with diamonds. I just got scammed. Oh, jeez, okay. Yeah, by Tiz and Jesse. <laughs> oh, no! Yeah. I mean, it was called, it was called Scam 4, to be fair. I mean, I kind of had an <laughs> idea what I was walking into, but... Yeah, oh, they no. got me. They got me. They got me good. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, I could do with some diamonds, like just whatever, whatever you think they're worth, really. As I say, it's for a community project, so I don't mind. Yeah. Um. I mean, about a, about a block a box, you think, or? Oh, not 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 that much. Dude, half that, half that. That'll be fine. Half that. Okay. Yeah. Alright, um, let's, 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 let's call it three blocks in total then. Which, I, su I suppose, yeah, that's, 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 that's gonna make it basically, basically half price pickles. Yeah, More than, be better, better than half price, because you can keep the shulkers as well. I, I've got so many shulkers. Yeah, 
is unbelievable. I do now too. Now that I finally went, like, I, I want, like, don't want to forgive you for trying to kill his, but at the same time, I, I got to go end raiding because of it. So like. No, oh, exactly. You know. So like, ev everybody won. Tiz didn't die. I wasn't trying to kill him anyway. I was just trying to give him a little scare. That's all I've been trying to do this whole time. For some reason, people think I've been trying to kill him. It's very weird. Yeah. Yeah, and see that that that's the only reason you're not getting this right now. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 but uh, oh. yeah, and, and last time I got tagged, I was at my base as well. No, no. Yeah, no, I promise. Legitimately was just like being like, mm. <laughs> Okay, okay, cool. But no, it's going, it's going to Tiz. Good. I mean, to be honest with you, like my, my plan was to get Tiz or Foxy because I, I didn't believe either of them had had it yet. And uh, and I got Foxy and uh, I don't think he was very happy about it, but it's fine. I think he, he was fine once he had it. Yeah, he, he, he got me, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see, I see. So it's only yeah. gone from Foxy to you. I see. That makes perfect yeah. sense. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll just cut back to this bit and we'll never talk about the, 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 the super secret I just told you. We'll just just miss that out. Miss out the secret, you know. We'll be talking about <laughs> and then suddenly we're just we're just here. There's a missing bit. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be just, fine. Just pretend it never happened. Yep. It's yep. okay. Cool. Sounds good. Alright. See ya. Yeah, Thanks see ya. Much. Bye. After that short meeting with Liara there, I came over to the shopping district to spend some of those diamonds, get myself some more sea lanterns, well partly to fix that hole, but also because we are getting through a lot of them. And you know when I kind of broke the sea lanterns last episode without my silk touch pickaxe? I have done that a lot. And I mean a lot. So as a result, I've also brought lots and lots of prismarine shards so that I can just remake the ones that I've smashed because I'm a silly. I was also about to leave the shopping district. I thought, well, you never know, someone might have bought more pickles and they hadn't, but I forgot to check this last time and this had more diamonds in, but not only that, look at this. Someone's actually bought all of my Nautilus shells as well. So I need to actually restock this, which I, I never thought I'd have to do. And to be honest, we're actually getting a little bit low on pickles after what we've just sold Liara. So we're going to get some more pickles in here, we're going to get some more Nautilus shells, and we're going to get this place restocked. And for now, this tunnel is actually complete. We have no more holes in the floor, which is marvellous. So the next thing to do is to plan out what we're going to do in this furnace room. So let's go and take a look and see if we can figure out what it is we're going to be doing over there. And, well, I mean, we're going to be making a super smelter. We know that much. But beyond that, we do need to work out exactly sort of how this is going to work in here, how much height we're going to use, and so on. So, let's have a look. Okay, so I've been thinking, and it has occurred to me, that behind each of these walls, we have lots of space that we can actually use, because there's not any farms that are kind of hidden in the walls back there. So that means we can actually put the furnaces set right back onto this wall here, which is going to give us lots of space up the top here, which means we can do something funky with the loading system. And what I'm thinking is, we'll actually have two furnace arrays, so we'll have a minecart on each side, so we'll have two that get sent out for fuel, two that get sent out for the actual stuff that you want to cook. If it's going to be minecarts, I might use the old water tube trick again, I don't really know yet. But I think if we do that, set everything back in the walls, we can do something very cool with the delivery system in the middle here. And I think colour-wise, I think I need to use red. So I could even use like red going into orange and yellow, make it look all fiery and big. And yeah, I think, yeah, we're going to have fun with this one. So the first thing to do is to go get myself lots of resources and start planning out one side of this. So where the delivery systems are going to be as well. I think probably just a stack of chests in each corner maybe, unless we do something funky. And yeah, I, I don't really know. But yeah, we're going to go grab some stuff and actually start laying out exactly how we want this furnace room to look. So I've been playing around with a few ideas and I think I may have actually settled on something now. So, there's a lot of mess here, so bear with me while I try and explain what's going on here. Each unit is essentially going to look like this, so we have the minecart that's going to run around the inside here, and the reason I've done that is because if I actually run it around the back, they're going to be outside the chunks, and then I've got a minecart going through one, two, three separate chunks, and on bedrock, 
that's generally a bad thing because that minecart, knowing my luck, is going to disappear with all of my stuff in it. So I've actually pulled that round and we're going to have like a gantry that runs around the inside. I don't know what materials I'm going to do it with yet. I've just used iron there for now because that's what I had on me. And I think the iron trapdoors work, but not so much the iron blocks. And then for the furnaces themselves, what I've got is a uh, system here, which is actually what's going to be fueling it. But I will get to that in a moment because that's going to be a bit weird. And then we've also just got, you know, when it's when it's done, when it's um, smelled what it's trying to do that's the one words are difficult this morning it would seem so yes once it's smelted what it needs to that will go into this dropper which will automatically fire into a water channel which is going to run from here all the way around and that will put everything where it needs to be over this side the only thing I haven't quite worked out yet is obviously a water stream can only go for eight blocks and that'll be one two three four five six seven eight so it's only going to go to here so that means I need to put ice there if I put ice there, then anything that gets spat out from that dropper is probably going to end up getting stuck there. So I need to run a couple of tests and see if other stuff that comes past then connects with it and picks it up as it goes along, which I think it probably will. But I also want to make sure that stuff coming along doesn't join that one and then just also get stuck. So yeah, I need to figure that out. I might have to skip sort of a furnace every seven or so blocks, which is going to reduce the amount of furnaces I have by two. But I think I worked out we're going to have 36 in here at the moment. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. We're still going to have many, many furnaces and a lot more than we've got out there. So that should work fine. In regards to the materials, I'm going to be replacing all the floor out here with red glass and some red concrete as well. And then I think I'm gradually actually going to maybe get some orange and some yellow in it as well. I'm not entirely sure but the main colour here is going to be the red but we'll see how that turns out. The last thing of course is the fueling and I said that was going to be a bit different so what I'm thinking of doing is down there obviously we've got our kelp farm as we have seen previously and we've got our sort of loading system here which is every time we make kelp blocks out of these we just make them there we throw them in here and they go up and they fuel the smokers that then cook more kelp that water tube then runs around the back and deposits into these which is where all the excess ones go as well as that block of granite which is probably a bit of a giveaway of where I've been so what I'm thinking is when it gets to here, instead of starting to like, you know, go into these chests and so on, what if we send it up a water tube, which will then come all the way up the top here. So the water is just there on that line there. It's probably a bit dark. You might not be able to see that. But um, yeah, I think if we actually redirect that and send everything up here, we can then send it straight into the back of refueling these as well. And then what we can do is make sure that all these are full and so on and so on and so on. And then just pump it back across via another tube, which will probably have exposed a glass tube so we can seal the kelp moving around and then we can literally just drop it back down this tube here which will then put it back into the boxes down the bottom so we'll actually be connecting our two sort of cooking systems so that they're reloading and refueling so to speak from the same point but also any excess is still getting deposited where it needs to be and I think that will work quite nicely I mean it's a bit long-winded it means I'm gonna to have to keep it fully fueled all the time in order to keep everything fueled but with the amount of kelp blocks we've got that is not gonna be a problem lastly in order to load in what we're going to need in the minecarts I didn't want to have the minecarts having to come all the way down then bounce back up because that's gonna to take too long for the furnaces to keep burning continuously so I'm actually gonna put in a bubble vator of some sorts here which is gonna take us up to a mezzanine up here like a little gantry and that's where we'll load up the minecarts and send them on their way to actually load in the smeltables so yeah next thing to do I guess is to get in lots of these units and figure out what I'm gonna do about the water stream down here because if that doesn't work then I might have to sort of replace everything with hoppers but I'd rather not do that if I can avoid it because that's gonna be a lot of hoppers a short while later and I think I'm actually starting to come up with a design that I like and that is actually going to work so what I've done is I've vastly reduced the amount of droppers and redstone we're going to use I'm literally just using one now and I'm going to feed everything down into it and I've I think it should probably be able to keep up with the amount of furnaces we've got and you know if not we're not going to be waiting too long either way it's still going to be better than the furnace we already have and we're going to be doing the same over here but the way this works is um, uh, let, let, let me quickly show you actually it's probably the best thing to do so if I just pop that off I will put a stack of something in there there we go that's a full stack so I'll just chuck them in there for now. And all of the hoppers just loop all the way round here, round here, round here to this dropper where they then get spat out. Right on cue. And then they go in here, they follow the water tube all the way round, they go round there, then they go up a bubble vator, slide across the top and drop straight into our chest here. And this is where we collect all the lovely, wonderful cooked goods. So that's the only bit I've got working at the moment. Uh, <laughs> at the top here, around the back, 
I need to get lots and lots and lots of hoppers. So I need to get in all the hoppers so they don't feed the fuel in, which is obviously going to link around to a system from this side. And then I need to get all the hoppers in at the top here as well that are actually going to feed the goods that I wish to smelt. And once again, the reason I've got them hanging out here instead of hidden around the back is because I wish to keep the minecarts within the chunk so that they don't despawn with all my stuff in them, because that would be bad. And bad is not good. I'm also quite liking the floor that we've got coming along here. I will see how it looks once we've got the whole room kitted out. But I think, you know, getting more colour on the floor. And there's also going to obviously be the big sort of gantry bit that goes up here. That will bubble vader, I should say. That's going to take us up to the top. So there's probably going to be a sort of big red section here as well. So I don't know how much colour we're going to need on the floor. But we're going to keep it like this for now. And I will get some more concrete and finish that off. And we'll see how we get on. So the next thing for me to do is basically just get loads and loads of hoppers which means I'm probably gonna need to go and buy more iron yep probably gonna need to buy more iron I, I, I bought so much iron it's unbelievable I really need to get my iron farm on the go you're not gonna believe this I was just on my way to go get some iron and I've just had a conversation with Jesse B it would seem that getting into the pickle market early is finally paying off we have just had another bulk order for pickles this time eight shulkers and we're getting one diamond block per shulker that's eight diamond blocks we're gonna be so rich just from pickles playing the long game is definitely 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 paying off what we are going to need to do however is go and make eight shulkers worth of pickles so before i fall in the water which is just coming up there oh, there, there, there we go see look, i'm getting better at this i'm getting better at this so yeah we're gonna go uh well back to the pickle machine i guess more pickle fun times After a little while at the pickle machine, we now have eight shulkers of pickles ready for Jessie. She's offline just at the moment, but once again, hopefully we'll catch her before the end of the episode. But in the meantime, we need to get back to our furnace. So let's quickly go and check where we were at, because I've already forgotten. I've just got pickle brain right now. Ah, yes, I remember. I need all the hoppers in the world. So we're going to go and make all the hoppers in the world. And I did actually just see on Discord as well that the iron shop has been restocked. And as we know, we've got many diamond blocks incoming I think we can afford to splash out a bit so we're gonna go buy loads more iron because we're about to use it all and then we're probably gonna buy more again we um, yeah we spent we spent all of our diamonds every single last one of them on on iron literally just iron but we have lots and lots of hoppers in place and we also have plenty of backup iron as well I've literally bought probably about four times the amount I need because I also need it for flint and steels but we have managed to get all of the hoppers in around the back here they were gonna feed the furnaces with fuel and if I go up the top here we have actually managed to get the fuel line put in as well and this is all working a treat and you'll find that all of these are actually full up I have used just some wood for the last few of them just to make sure that they're full so I could test the overflow system too which we'll get to in a moment but this does all work an absolute treat and all the overflow goes out that way and then drops back down into the boxes below back into the kelp farm so as I say a few of these ones here have got a bit of wood in the back of them just so I could test the overflow for the kelp but I, I also may or may not have got a little bit carried away and I, I kind of built the whole thing so essentially it got quite late by the time I'd made all of the hoppers and things like that. I couldn't really do any proper recording, but I did want to get this build finished. So I just I just cracked on and got it all done. And the whole thing is working a treat and looks absolutely awesome when it's turned on. So I'm going to quickly grab a few things to cook and I will show you what that looks like. Right, I've got some sand which we'll put in to make some glass. But just to give you a quick rundown, it's a fairly straightforward system. There's a line of furnaces that go around here and they are actually behind these bits as well. I've just covered up the front of them because it a little bit weird and I wanted to make sure that everything looked nice as well as actually being functional so only about sort of two-thirds of the furnaces are visible behind these columns there are additional ones and these all basically feed into this hopper line which goes all the way to the end into a dispenser which then spits them out through the water stream and then they go round float up and then this is the chest that everything gets dumped into at the end so let's jump up the top here and feed the system so we technically have two different furnace arrays here. They're fed via the same fuel system, which as I say goes round the back of the furnaces and the excess comes out the top here and then drops back down to the ground floor down the bottom there. But the minecarts themselves, they work independently, so you can cook different things on different sides or just use one. You can do whatever you need, but essentially they just run across the top backwards and forwards and that loads up all the furnaces, as you can see, which are fully fueled. And then as they cook stuff, they're going to start depositing them out the sides here. So this is where you start getting all the items 
items flowing around the side and going into the tubes here. Glass probably wasn't the best thing, it's going to be fairly difficult to see it in comparison to some other items, but there we go. And that's literally just going to drop straight into the chest here. So when this whole thing is going, it looks pretty cool with all the movement at the top, we've got the movement at the bottom, and I quite like the design that's come out here. I tried a few different things, I wasn't really sold on it, it started to look a bit Christmassy at one point, and although I think with the red and the white it's still got an element of that, it does also look a bit more fiery with the magma cubes behind there, so that is all gravy. So getting this furnace system complete isn't the only thing that's happened, because something else that tends to happen is if I'm on late at night, Liara is off and on as well. And if Liara's on, and Liara's streaming, there's likely to be a fight. So I'm just on my way to the shopping district, but Lee has once again had the fight 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 command redeemed in her stream chat and I'm online, DB's online and she's got two fights to do. So I'm heading over to the shopping district now and as you can see Liara is very excited she gets to do two fights so what we'll probably do is wait for DB as well I guess and uh, I, I, we can have a referee for each each round maybe? I don't really know. Either way we're gonna pile in there and uh, well hope for the best because we're terrible at PvP. We got lucky last time, that's probably not going to happen this time. I think something I will do this time though is keep a totem on me, and when it pops I will let Liara know. Um, hopefully it won't pop, but you know, if it does, at least we know that I lost, and uh, I don't actually lose my seven levels, because obviously they're highly valuable to me. I, I need to fight someone. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm holding I'm... a totem too, because the seven levels I have are way too precious to lose. So... Oh, I've got 79. Oh, yeah, no, I've, I've literally got seven. There was there was an yeah. incident. No, I, I, I'm fine fighting the totem instead of the death. That's okay with me. Okay, cool. Um, how do, how do you want to do this? I feel like last time, um, last time may have been a bit unfair because you didn't have your sword and I jumped you. So... Uh, I mean, I've got <laughs> my sword. Yeah, which is why I'm concerned. <laughs> well, I mean, you seem to have learned from Foxy because you've got an axe, so... Oh, I've li I was literally 5,000 blocks out chopping wood. Oh, okay. okay. I, I have a sword, an axe, a bow, and a desire to live. Just three, two, one, and we, 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 we jump off and, and start fighting. Sounds good. All right. So three, two, one. Totem. Yeah. Oh wow. And would you believe it? We only went and won again, which is just weird. How are we how are we doing this? How are we defeating someone who's actually good at PvP when we ourselves are terrible? I'm gonna put it down to the fancy axe we used this time. I think that must have been the key there. Sadly, that is all we have time for in today's episode, and I am actually going to be away next week. So this video is gonna be coming out a few days after I record it, and I should hopefully have another one lined up for you for this week while I'm away, and then I'm back this weekend. So the video is gonna be a little bit further between each other than they usually will be over the next week or two while I play catch up, but once we're done with that, we'll be back onto our usual schedule. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please do leave a like, and if it's your first time here, please, oh, oh we're inside my head, I've, I've gotta stop running into that hole, that's not panning out. If you have enjoyed today's episode, then please do leave a like, it really does help the channel out, and if it's your first time here, please do consider subscribing if you enjoyed the episode, and I hope to see you back here on the next one. Bye-bye now.